Hello everyone, um, this tutorial I want to show you how to install and first compile and install a Hello uh, program on the Mini 2440. First, to start, um, what we're going to do is actually launch, uh, go to desktop and launch the virtual box that I show you how to install in other videos. And let's wait for loading. This is like I'm actually I'm using the Ubuntu 10.04. Okay, we're right there. First thing, what you're gonna do is actually download uh, and un uncompress the file on the link below. That will show you. Uh, will give you the quick notes that you're gonna need to uh, uh, for this guide that I'm gonna show you. Okay. First, what you're gonna do is install all these applications that you're gonna need for the compiler to be able to work. Just copy and paste. Enters since I already have them, uh, I don't have to install them, so everything is new as new as version. Next thing, what you're gonna do is go to the friendly arm uh, .NET site, and you're gonna download the cross compiler and Gutopia. So right here, you click the latest version, 4.4.3. Save. And I'm gonna save it right here on mine actually. Okay, we save it on download folders and we download in Kutopia also. Save. Wait. Okay, well, let's just speed that process. Once we download the application, what we're going to do is just go to the download folder that's where actually the applications are and once we get there okay, we go back to the, um, quick, uh, the quick notes and copy and paste it paste this uh, command line that would take a few seconds Okay, we done that part. Uh, the next thing what we're gonna do is go to the home directory, and we're gonna edit the bash file um, because actually we got to set the location of the cross compiler. If we we don't do that one, we're trying to install Kutopia, it won't work. So this is one of the things you have to do. Uh, I have done it already, so. We'll this part is on the quick notes so what you have to do is just copy set the path, copy and paste it same thing, I'm just gonna do it again delete that and paste okay now we're gonna save that and we're gonna close it and open again so it can take effect to know, to find out if you actually did it right uh, you know, copy this part arm dash Linux dash GCC and paste that and hit enter and it's going to give you the version number. So if you did that correct, you're going to display that, otherwise, it's going to see it said command not found. So just to review what it did. Next thing, what we're going to do is actually go and um, install Gutopia. First thing, you know, copy, paste it and extract the file right here okay we don't need that anymore delete okay arm could help you here you're gonna have everything you need and the uh, hello program the sample program that we're gonna use later I'm gonna explain you what to do there okay now that we did that we're gonna just go change directory Arm Kutopia, we're in the directory, and you're gonna hit build all. And this part is gonna take about 20 minutes, 20 30 minutes. I just got cut out of the, all the part, but if you did it correctly, we'll get there without any errors. Next thing, what we're gonna do is actually 
I'm gonna do some changes on the sample program that comes with Utopia. Okay, first thing, the um, build program. Since the, the toy uh, you will install in the different directory, we have to edit all that. Uh, if you did in the home folder, install in the home folder and follow this tutorial, what you're gonna do is just copy the build um, uh, uh, batch file into here and it will update all everything all exports all the libraries and everything you need. Next thing what you're gonna do is the hello that pro program. Delete that so um, that this direction directory would be in the hello directory otherwise it's gonna go somewhere else and it will be easier if it's just here. Next thing what we're gonna do it is um, make some changes on the user interface. To make the changes on the user interface you have to use Designer. Designer is located on Qtopia 2.2, Qt2, Binary, and Kit Designer. Okay, just go all open and we're gonna go to hello, the hello Hello that base. Okay, here is the program that actually comes in the sample. So we're gonna do some modifications. We're gonna make it smaller because I think it's for a seven inch screen and I have a three point five. And we're gonna just change that text to let's say click me. And let's do some other changes. Um that's the that's the label. And we're gonna change the background. Let's change the background. Let's make a different color. Um, the background. Let's make. Let's make it red. Okay. Now that we did those changes, let's save it. And let's let's go back to the hello folder. And let's do some other changes here. We're gonna make the other changes so it's gonna be fine on the hello that cpp folder. I mean cpp file. And this is the the, in the message label that before we had. And what it's gonna do is display hello that um, comma Utopia world. So let's change that to say hello uh, mini two four forty. Now let's save it. And let's get ready to compile. I'm gonna show you how to do other changes on this program just to turn LEDs on or the buzzer on or just receive data from analog data and not in another tutorials. So what we're gonna do is change directly to the hello and we're gonna run the build file, build script. If you everything go well. No errors, so you're gonna have the um, hello binary file, and uh, that's what we're gonna need the hello binary file and the hello that desktop. Um, those are the two programs we're gonna need to be able um, to that we're gonna need to install in the mini chip for 40. Next thing, if you're using actually, I'm used pretty you can use hyper terminal or whatever you want, uh, it's gonna do on my com for port and turn on the mini chip for 40, and this is what you will see. If I'm going too fast, too fast, just pause the video and go step by step. Okay, this is actually okay. Once we got there, we just hit. Okay, we hit enter, and there you go. First thing we're gonna do is actually we're gonna need to set a password. There's no password set right now. My password is gonna be test because FTP doesn't want to work without a password. So, okay, we put a password, password test, and we're gonna go to places, and we're gonna connect to the mini 2440 via FTP. If you listen, you're gonna see FTP with login, server, connect to server, that 192, 168, one, the 230 is the, um, the default that comes with the mini 2440. The username is root, and here it's gonna pop up the screen with the password. The password is the one we had before. 
we set up before and test. Okay, if you did everything right, it should be connecting to the mini two folder. You're gonna go to the opt folder, Utopia, and binary. And here you're gonna copy and paste the binary file. Okay, now it's there. Now I'm gonna go to Utopia apps. And here you're gonna see all the tabs that display. We're gonna create a new tab that's gonna be called My Apps. Yeah, application, friendly arm games, settings, okay. Okay, here we're gonna copy and paste the Hello program. It's actually it's gonna set it. Okay. Now we're there. So first thing, one last thing we have to do is actually change the, actually um, the permission on the file. So we're gonna see deep with the um, to the binary file if you you don't have the correct permission, it will now open. So CD Optopia binary and ch mode a plus x hello and that's it. You're all set. So right now if you reboot your mini two four forty and you will see what um what we did at the beginning on compressing. And here you will find you go to the tab my apps. Uh, let's go applications. Here apps. Hello two four forty. Click me and uh, hello me two four forty. Thank you for watching, and I will post in more videos about programming in the future.